Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the Sup FM podcast. Sup FM, Sup FM. Streetwear's unsung podcast, sexy, unique podcast. Streetwear's undying podcast. I am one of your, we're so dumb. I am one of your hosts, Chris Cheney. Across from me, virtually, we have my guy, Luke Trevisi. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, of course, we have meaning in the background. Lawrence, unfortunately, is not with us at the moment. Um, he got tied up in some things, but here we are holding it down. Another French episode for you. Hey, oh, it's me, the French guy. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, um, we call these episodes French when Lawrence is not here uh, for n- really no reason, just because we just go off the rails and go off the rails. If can't hold it down, see, really. If you want to see a good episode, that's an example of that. <laughs> episode 102, Bone Town. It's my favorite episode that we've ever done. Please. That was the first one. French guy episode, wasn't first it? French, uh, I think it was the second. Oh, okay. First one was like a while before that. And then this one was the, I think. Man, I don't know. Either way. Bone Town. Um, that's just that's just some lore for you guys. Um, so we also have no guests this week. We were just guest heavy the past three weeks. This time it's down yeah, to the how, wire here. How are you guys doing? We don't talk to you anymore. We talk to guests now. How how are you, the listener, doing? We care about you. <laughs> um, you, you could. Did you did you cop the thing that you wanted to cop this week? <laughs> <laughs> we care about you. What is up tell us you? tell us in the Discord. Um, by the way, link's gonna be in the bio. Right. That's right. Yeah. Um, you know, if they're not on Discord, though, you can go to our Instagram, which has a link tree option to uh, get to the Discord. But you can also follow us on Instagram at Sub Podcast NYC. Um, Luke, where can they find you? They can find me at Trevizus, T-R-O-V-E-E-Z-U-S. I just released a video like a week ago. Uh, it's very dumb. You should check it out. It's the 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 woo in the loo. You didn't what? watch it. You're a bad friend. <laughs> I just found out my friend doesn't watch my videos. What about that? How are you I was guys like, doing? I don't That's know what you're talking about. Bad friend. Um, you can find Lawrence at LZD325. He might pop in in the episode. He's not really sure. He's like out and about. He's kind of like, you know, he's not at, at his station. So he might hop in his own cell phone, but there's no promises. He, he's got some obligations that he has to take care of. Yeah. It's not like he's dicking around and just ignoring us. I, I promise you. He's got... Um, you know, in the background, we got three meanies, so follow him. I'm uh, at not that Cheney, C H E N E Y. Um, and I do sort of, uh, I just want to take a quick sip here, real quick, Luke. I just want to. Oh, that sip was sponsored oh. by Spindrift Filter. <laughs> I'm just leaning. Or, or it could be. It could be if you would fucking sponsor a Spindrift. Yeah. And now, yo, they just came out with Boozy Seltzer? <sighs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, but all right, let's kind of get into it here. Mm hmm. Um, you know, before we do anything else, Luke, I think you have a little PSA that you want to give, though. Yeah, listen, guys, uh, last week, we all know that in Atlanta, we had a little bit of an issue. At least we can say that's the least thing that we could say. Yeah, that's, had that's a one way to describe unquote, it. Quote, bad day. Uh, I don't really, you know, I- I'm not surprised that it happened. It's, this has been like kind of culminating for a while. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, pushback against this. You know, it's, uh, you know, we feel bad for the people, for the eight people that lost their lives that day. Uh, you know, you know, this podcast is against Asian hate. If you want to support that as well, you can go to stop a uh, stop Asian hate, I believe, dot org or stop stop a a p i dot org as well. Uh, just it would help if you just donated, you know, through some money that way. I'm not going to be there's going to be protests all throughout the, the your local cities and whatnot. You know, join those if you can. I personally am not. I have not gotten vaccinated yet, so I'm going to stay safe, but I will be donating. So if you could donate, that would be nice. Uh, you know, I've received a lot of good news from a lot of people, people reaching out. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, man, we're going to become a stronger community out of this, I think. So, uh, you know, take care of one another, love one another uh, and stay safe out here. That's right. Um, you know. Now let's transition back into sneakers. Yes. Off white, baby. What the fuck's going on over you there? You want to start with this? I want to get it out of the way. The rumor mill here is like it's so far spread. First, it was 20. Yeah. You know, and then there was a comment going around of Virgil on um, whatever post that was. Virgil commented on some, I think a Supreme Leaks post or so i don't know whatever the fuck it was but he was like i can't make 20 of those ugly colorways yeah 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 and then now there's 50 it gets worse 
it's uh, now, you know, they're all going to be unique and numbered, which, you know, that's always a great thing to hear. Unique and numbered means you're not getting it. Yep, yep, yep. So this is the original that we saw online. This was like the leak. Yeah, so we're looking at a Sneaker News article here that claims that um, there's, there was going to be 20. The 20 represented 20 dunks, Verge Wire dunks. Right, and then we got what we actually got was it's actually going to be 50 uh, gray dunks with different laces. So, Luke, how do you feel, bud? <clears throat> Listen, as the one guy who said that it was going to be the 10 and then a new 10, right? Yep. Uh, at first, when I heard it was all dunks, I was like, ha, ha. I feel like I got the closest because I guessed 20 shoes, you know? And yeah. then uh, and then, and then I saw this and I was like, oh, I'm actually super disappointed. Super disappointed. Why? Well, you know, it's just gray dunks with different verge wires. Well, you know, what's interesting is he hasn't really led us to believe that he would do anything more than this. Remember the the trainer, the wait, the uh, 408 trainer? Yes, I was just thinking of that too. Where he yeah, so out the laces. change out the laces. Um, I I don't know. They're, they're really doing a great job, and I I mean they as in just I guess the sneaker industry with, uh, with giving us really nothing, mm -hmm. and taking a mile out of the inch. You know what I mean? Like they're really doing. The, you, the, you think about the, the bare minimum. <clears throat> Yeah, but you think about trophy rooms, right? Yeah. What were the what were the thing about those that were so special? It's the limited amount of pairs. The shoelaces. Oh, the shoelaces. No, the remember blue, though, because the the blue they, shoelaces. Right. So they're they're really finding ways of just selling us one thing seven different ways. Uh, but we're like laces. That's it. You no, know what I mean? Like they're, they're they're yeah, exactly. They're selling us laces in different ways. The most identifiable thing about these are going to be the verge wire lacing. I mean, uh -huh. yeah, I don't know, man. I this this is this is this is what we've been fighting for, man. This is <laughs> this, is <it. laughs> this is it. This is what we've been fighting for. This is, this is what the sneakerhead community just needs to lean into. Now. Just verge wire dunks. Just verge wire dunks with different colors. Gray, right? Gray dunks, and then you know a little hint of individuality with the with the with the laces. It's school uniform shit. Right, right, right. See, what I'm hoping for is that when we get these as an actual release, you get you get to you order a pair, right? Yeah. You order a pair on sneakers. You don't know what color you're gonna get. You're just given a color. That's the color you're given. And then you find other people that also have that color. And then you join a gang of those people. <laughs> and then from there, the gangs start to take over the rest of the world. And then boom, just before you know it. It's, you know, it's off-white color gangs. Damn. Oh, shit, though. Versus Lawrence Fox. in the fucking building. Lawrence Deloach in the building. Is that Lawrence oh, Deloach here on Sup FM Podcast? No, it's Lawrence it's Deloach. Sure. What's it up, sure buddy? Is. It sure is, gentlemen. I'm so happy to talk to you guys. How's everything? Good, man. Good. Good. Uh, we were just going over these 50 Verge Wire dunks. Yeah, it's uh, it. I think this is a sign that you know that people are just truly bastardizing dunks and <laughs> without they're whoring them out and it's disgusting. Oh yeah, and it's it's embarrassing. I mean, the, the dunks look horrible, so they just look. They look. I mean, obviously, it's, it's the early stages of what the final versions will be, but they look terrible. Yeah. Are you talking about the 20 different colorways or did you see the, the gray dunks with just the different laces? Well, I saw the gray dunks with the different laces. I saw the black ones. I saw where they were like 50 or 50. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's embarrassing guys. It's yeah. Like, it, this is, this is like, come on, dude, this is so fucking shitty. Well, you know, we, we just brought up how, if you remember Lawrence, the, I think is the 408 trainer, the actual name of that shoe, the 408, something like Louis that. Yeah. yeah, the Louis ones. Remember how he had different drops all over the world, but the only difference was the laces? Yes. And, you know, we were sort of just discussing sort of like the, uh, if you had the real trophy rooms, you had the blue laces, right? Mm -hmm. So there seems to be like this um, theme of selling us sort of not what we want and having the special item be the laces. At least that's what I've seen recently, right? I mean, there's not many instances like this but i mean if you have two virgil you know and then these trophy rooms being a part of that scandal it seems like the new business plan for some of these special releases what luke 
The only thing about well, that is that we Concepts has been doing the same thing for forever. But we're talking about like the lobsters, lobsters, even the Turduncans recently. They'll have a, a like a special edition pair with special laces. So you, they're essentially kind of selling you laces. I mean, well, sure, like Concepts is a little bit different because of the the box art, right? Right, right. There was a that had a whole story. So but I, ha- I have to say that too. But sure, sure. Well, it's been kind of a a thing for a while. Well, I will say, and with the uh, trophy rooms, remember the laces were kind of the um, the plot against the scandal, if that makes sense. It was kind of like there was the yeah. scandal, and then Marcus was like, "Well, the real ones have the blue laces," but I think he just backdoored everything to the point where it was, you know, the, it, the laces were just the throw ones at the end. Uh, we would see with Jordan ones and, and certain, you know, SPs where the laces were the variation. You know, where, you know, you can throw on different laces to give them a different, you know, a different look. Yep. But, but in actuality, I think, um, I think with, with these dunks, I think it, it there's going to be people who take 50 losses. And then there's going to be people who realize that just dunks are, it's just, they're playing everyone right now with this shit. So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's, it's Nike it's, doing it's Birdman so, hands. Yeah. <laughs> They've been doing Birdman hands forever, bro. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We should call them so, Nike hands. They're so mm-hmm. red because of, mm-hmm. because they've been rubbing. <laughs> there's no, there's no skin anymore. It's, it's just, just bones. <laughs> just bones. So, means um, is this is this the nail in the coffin on dunks though? Is this it? Is this them really going like okay, finally? Never. No. No. No, no I didn't think so. You know, I know Luke knows that that at the end of the day, um, dunks have been here for over 30 years. They're not going anywhere. They're just, I mean, they're just kind of whoring it out because they know that the masses will will t- take whatever, mm-hmm. spend whatever for these, you know, for dunks. So. I think we will get a day a long time from now, maybe 20 years from now, where dunks will be on the shelves again. But this hype train is not ending for a while. Yeah, that is uh, for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, but um, it, you know what? You know what really is annoying about these whole things? It's the rumor mill that you sort of have to like weed through in order to find these uh, the actual photos and stuff. You know, and I, I know I've complained in the past about like, you know, we'll see one shoe, you know come up and be like oh my god i can't believe this is happening and you know then six months later we get the second image and it was not even close to the original one we talked about and then you know kind of of towards like the actual release almost like year year and a half later that's when we actually start seeing like real images and stuff that timeline is sort of getting crunched together now because everyone loves this rumor mill everyone wants to be the first one to post whatever it is Mm -hmm. um i mean with these unions is another great example yeah so exactly Lawrence, I don't know. Me and Luke were talking off mic uh, just a second ago, but I don't know if you saw the uh, Union 3s that we thought were real for a second, but they were actually just customs. Then there was other rumor uh, pictures coming out where there's like a red and a bluish toned one. Um, But so it seems like the three is going to be the thing. But also, can we even take this seriously now? Because one actually came out to be a custom. So that wasn't real. And the other one, who knows if it was a Photoshop or not? These all these accounts that all they do is just Photoshop different colorways and shit. And people just think they're real, you know? Yeah, I think I think we're in the because we're in the social media age where everyone wants to be the first to break the story so they can get the likes. They can get the, the looks that, you know, we're getting where, you know, like we saw last week with the Travis Scott. Uh, uh, fragment ones like we were getting you know people these were like you know factory picks these were you know at first we weren't getting the best pictures but we're just getting it because of the social media like push if that makes sense so that's what yeah. we're seeing now we'll see a lot of guys like like ch- chicken walk on instagram and um there's a, a bunch of other you know uh, z kicks like i don't know if they're the exact thing but we see them post these from they may be the they they're def, sometimes they they reps sometimes you know yeah. they're not the real ones but right it's the rush to get it out there and we realize how insane social media is like like you said like we were we saw the the customs and everyone's like oh these are the new union threes and we have to debunk that immediately so you kind of gotta take the shit with a grain of salt you know you know what I'm I might. 
Lawrence, I think I'm going to step out of your realm. I think Luke might be able to um, empathize with me, though. Doesn't this remind you of like when a Pokemon game comes out and there's all these rumors and all this, the rumor is crazy. And then finally we get like the, conf- the confirmed meme. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's just like that. Right, I, Lawrence, we all know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Don't you hate it? Don't you hate it when you're looking at the new Pokemon game and you see some <laughs> fake Pokemon? It's the worst. Bro, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z, all of that shit, man. You know me. Yeah, you man. Know me. Right. You know me. <laughs> That's right, Lawrence. We do know you as the DBZ Pokemon guy for sure. That's right. If uh, you have an anime podcast, Lawrence will do it. <laughs> did you guys see me in Central Park looking for the Pokemon that day? Uh, I was with those guys who was all trying to find a new Pokemon. <laughs> you know what's funny is if you were, oh man, I, 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 I hearken back and I wish I was there that day in Central Park trying to get that Charizard. What a better time. Yeah. What a time to be alive, guys. What an amazing what a time. Um, but just to, to sort of go off this, I mean, do we actually think that Union is doing a three or no? I still don't. I think in, I'm thinking six or seven still. I've got my fingers crossed, baby. So Luke's delusional. Lawrence, what do you think? Oh, I'm delusional. Okay. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, I would love for you to do Jordan 2. Um, it would not shock me if they did um, a, a five or a six. I think with the threes, because we're getting the uh, the ah, uh, Amanir, Amanir joints in a couple of days. Mm-hmm. That I don't know if we're going to get a Union 3. I would love a Union 3, but it's all speculation, man. They fuck around and do a trainer 180 type shit, you know? We don't know. Yeah. They might. Who knows? I mean, you know, they, they have, you know, people forget that they did the Zoom and the other shoe along with the 4. So there, there might be one of those coming out with this release. I assume they're going to do more than just one Jordan. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, we'll have to see going through. Um, you know, just to stay on the idea of rumors, um, I guess it's not really rumor if he said it himself, right? So Jerry Lorenzo was talking about how he might work on a Yeezy. Yeah, on some unnamed podcast that we will never name on this show. Yeah. Involves uh, uh, comp. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm not going to say names. I'm just going to say that we heard on, on, on a show that Jerry Lorenzo was, you know, entertaining the thought of a Kanye West Jerry Lorenzo, you know, collaboration for a pair of Yeezys, which, you know, I would be very excited for. Um, well, what, what do you got, El? I was going to say, you guys got to remember, you know, Jerry Lorenzo did a lot of Kanye's, you know, prior designs and stuff mm-hmm. like that in the past. So this is almost kind of like, this is something that kind of should be expected. If we're, if Nike's doing, as Chris would say, what, triple collabs or double collabs. Right. <clears throat> then why can't Adidas do this shit now? Well, you know what I was going to say, too, is like, so it's interesting. T- now, I might be behind. I don't really know where I am in the grand scheme of things. But, you know, like you pointed out, I have been sort of noting that these triple labels or whatever you want to call them, these like, uh, you know, three way. I don't even know how to categorize them because they're not la- it's not triple label because they're not labels. You know, it's like three uh, entities sort of. F- doing one thing right it's happening more and more often because now it's like so the sakai models are going to get some new treatment right because i saw a sakai clot and a sakai fragment too right Right, yeah so like these things are sort of becoming more established i guess silhouettes in their own right so it's not that sakai gets their own like special thing or whatever and they just get to keep it it seems like nike is spreading that throughout the ecosystem that they have um, you know, Jerry Lorenzo even getting uh, PJ Tucker a player edition. There's not many instances where a designer silhouette gets a player edition. I think that's actually the only one. Um, excuse my inner if that's not the case. But I mean, I, it's interesting just to see the business of collaboration evolve because one person can only hold so much hype for so long. Right. Um, um. What? No, I mean, yeah, I mean, we've, we've talked about that in the past. I think, you know, you know, sometimes you do have to, like, you know, do different things to spice it up. But I think, you know, for the, I mean, Kanye, you know, he, I mean, he did it with Nike. And, and granted, that was a, a three, four year stretch. But I think it can be done. But I think you do have to spice it up. Like you said, like you just have to, you have to add an extra guy, do something different, bring two brands together. The way that the collab game is changing, man. Yeah, I mean, because it, it's not hype unless it's a collab, 
But now when you just collaborate with somebody, it can be meaningless unless right. you say something or tell a story, which is the real third label. If you ask me, like the story should be just as important as the silhouette and the people doing it. But whatever, um, you know, they're they're noticing that, like, they can't keep the the singular person doing the one thing going. Um, now, I guess because no one else has touched the Yeezy. Right. So that right. would be the first sort of thing on, a, on the Adidas side. Uh, I, and I, I guess it would have to be uh, a basketball model. So like a quantum. Right. Maybe. Maybe. Because he's doing he's Adidas basketball. Correct. But so, if he's doing it, but if he's doing it under the label of fear of God. Then does that does he not have to do a basketball shoe? Yeah, is he is he Jerry Jerry Lorenzo, uh, head of Adidas basketball, doing a quantum, or is he Fear of God Jerry Lorenzo doing a three fifty? From my understanding, it was it, it was sounded like it was a Fear of God Jerry Lorenzo working on something from Yeezy Camp. Hmm. Well, I can see that because we got the Virgil off white stuff. You know, off white was pl- splattered all over. You know, the ten. So, you know, Nike off white collab. So I can see Jerry doing. You know, still having his Fear of God and playing on that as well imprint Ooh. on it a, a jerry lorenzo a yeezy 10 <laughs> i don't know i don't oh, know. Oh, oh, no. i don't know look at me with the bad takes <laughs> <laughs> you know you know what it is dude it's like i kind of feel bad for adidas man because they're like uh they're like if nike's like the marvel cinematic U- universe adidas is like the dc universe where oh, somebody just, like... just got hbo max for the weekend <laughs> no 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 i'm not watching that four-hour movie i don't know if i could do it but i just it's there i feel like they're always playing catch up man if they do that it will just look like they're trying to follow nike and they can't keep doing that man they're gonna not catch up right mm-hmm. that's true that's true There's- there's not Adidas just needs to figure out how to design a sneaker before they try to do some shit like that, man. They nothing on the court on a, from Adidas is being walked off the court on. You know what I mean? Like no okay, one's wearing that true. shit. Oh, oh, because everybody's wearing fucking Jordan 35s off the court. I bet there's more people wearing Jordan 35s than any James Harden shoe off the court. Mm, OK, mm. you know, you, you know, why? you know why your, your pain is skewed because we live in New York City. And I that, think that's the thing. I, I think if you go to, you know, if you Houston when James Harden was a rocket or you, you go into certain parts of the country, you know, I don't think everything is a Jordan 1 or everything's a Jordan, you know, it, it doesn't even have to be a 35, you know, but I'm sure because if if no one was wearing the model, then I'm sure Adidas or Reebok or whoever or Under Armour will have to look at the bottom line and say, no one's buying these and granted you know they are basketball sneakers but i still think there is there are people who wear them it's just not maybe in brooklyn or queens or manhattan yeah no, that's a that's a that's a great point um, so are you I, saying I sometimes now with james harden in new york are we going to see a spike in harden uh, basketball sneakers or walking around no no but okay. one thing to note now um say what you will about james harden as a Person, basketball player, whatever he is, a frequent strip club goer. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. I would be interested to see how many more girls are wearing James Harden shoes in New York City. Mm. See what I'm saying? I don't even think James Harden wears James Harden sneakers. To be honest <laughs> with you, James Harden wears his sneakers on the court, and that's it. <laughs> My man ain't wearing that shit off the court at all. Well, also, it'd be a little concerning if I saw a girl wearing one of James Harden's sneakers because that would mean she has very big feet. Or that she saw James Harden recently. <laughs> why would she have? Why would he have? I don't know, actually. <laughs> if you kind of if you're kind of like a, a playboy bachelor type, you know, you should have a couple extra pairs of shoes for house guests, I guess. Jeez. I don't What? <laughs> Wait, you know, I said it out loud. And Chris, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence, do you know what he's talking about? Why would anybody really. walk around? Why would anybody? No, that's the joke. I'm saying my man's going to strip clubs in New York City. He fucking bringing his shoes going, girls. You got it. <laughs> yeah, here you go, girl. A size 13 hardened five. Something you've <laughs> always wanted. Now nah, they make they make that shit in women's size, I think. But whatever. It's just, just a funny know, thought. Now why that all would the... he have women's sizes on him? That's the weird part. <laughs> You got a closet in this house. You didn't know. <laughs> Ridiculous. Size four to eight. 
<laughs> okay. Did you hear about Yeezy being worth $6 billion? <laughs> yes. I did. Did you hear and about this? I did. And I, um, well, a lot of it, I'm sure, has to do with his Gap deal and then the Adidas. Yeah. But, I mean, to see the, the foot, I guess, life doing a 180 for him and him, you know, going on, you know, Sway and all these other places, you know, a few years ago, begging for money and talking about how broke he was. And, and now to see him do this, you know, it's, it's really, you know, I hope his mental health is really good because, you know, this guy is one of the, you know, most influential people, you know, not just artists or musicians or anything, but people in the last 20 years. So, you know, Yo, he's going to put foam runners in, in, he's going to put foam runners in, in, in the gap or Walmart somewhere. He's going to mm-hmm. do it. Mm-hmm. I kind of just don't like how people aren't giving him his props about it. You know, everyone like, you know, the MAGA shit, Trump, whatever. He's still a pivotal finger figure in not only sneakers, clothing, music. I mean, he's just like fucking. I mean, you got to understand it's different for street for sneakerheads, streetwear people. They've seen Kanye for a while. Like we've seen Kanye for a while. Right. Yeah. The average mm-hmm. consumer of Kanye products is like or of like, I guess, the music or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know how in depth they know. They don't know about the jacuzzi thing with Kim. Uh, what do they know? You know. Yeah. Well, you, you know what's funny? I'm gonna say this because you know I, I don't know if you guys went through it, but I went through my phase where you know I thought I was Kanye West, and I have a lot of photos from that <laughs> era where you know where I mimicked his style and the yep. things, some of the things he did, and you know I look back on that and I and and that's one thing I'm always gonna say is like this guy was you know, from 2004, 2005 to 2000, you know, 13-ish, you know, he, he, you know, people looked to him for the trends. People looked to see what he was wearing, whether it was Givenchy, whether it was, you know, um, you know, fucking Doncy hats, Yeezys, yep. but, mm-hmm. you know, he had, he had this, that polo, Louis, like he had, he had this style, and and like you guys said, you gotta still give him his flowers. Because he's, Lawrence, he's are you, are you asking us if we went through a easy <clears throat> phase when my Instagram handle is Trovisus? <laughs> are you That's really asking me that? Like I, man, I appreciate that guy. I uh, look, I'll I'll say when uh, I popped my collar at one time. Mm-hmm. I walked out. I tried. I didn't have the confidence like Ye did in that video, but. I he's definitely like made me give some stuff some shots, you know. Kanye made me believe you could dress like an anime character in real life. Well, because yeah, he he was dressing like an anime character. Exactly. Um. So, but all right. So this is my thing though. Even if so, even if like you know us under like I don't want to call us underground, but whatever the fuck you ca- categorize us as, like streetwear, sneakerhead, fashion, uh, you know whatever styling. What like, I don't know whatever the fuck you want to call me. Um, Jay Z did a deal with Square or uh, pay, uh, no, no, Cash App, like whatever that dude is, the Square guy. He sold part of title to Square, whatever, right? right? Now everyone's like fucking going, oh, Jay Z is the best, Hove, whatever. Not a fucking word from those guys about Kanye doing this shit. No, because we celebrate Jay in a, in a way, you know, we, we celebrate him because he's from. Um, He's got this life, and if that makes sense, like he's married to Beyonce, like yeah. he's known arguably as the greatest rapper of all time. Mm-hmm. His, the moves he makes, you know, it's, and you know this Brooklyn guy who's so shrill and smart and and making these business moves, and he hasn't had the the outburst of as Kanye did, and I think that's why when we see Jay, you know, sell his his uh, champagne. You know, he, we looked at him and we're like, yo, that's fucking Jay, man. He's a fucking billionaire. And we look at Gay and it's like, I right, when's this nigga gonna have a breakdown soon? Yeah. You know, even even with the who he married, you know, versus who Jay married, it, we looked at that and we were like, it was a knock against Kanye. And, you know, Jay married Beyonce and everyone's like, oh, well, Kanye married Kim. And it's a reality star and she's this. And I think Jay has the love of the streets. Mm-hmm. But Kanye doesn't. Yeah. Kanye doesn't have the love. Kanye's got motherfuckers who who um 
motherfuckers who are um they you know like 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 Luke said my supreme an anime. mics and fucking yeah <laughs> and wear you know, yellow beanies they got me Con- he's got me Kanye, Kanye allowed dudes that weren't hood to really shine and it took Kanye like three years for him to finally get a street single and you can't tell me nothing whereas Jay was I mean that's how we knew Jay even Jay was streets love Jay and Jay then kind of mainstreamed it but I mean, they're, they're two different guys, but they're both, you know, we know they're both talented. They're both fucking billionaires. And it's, it's yeah. awesome to kind of see that, that come through. Was, uh, can't tell me nothing on graduation? Yes. Yes, it was. Okay. Just want to make sure I had the timeline there. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, I was just kind of tight when I first said, because everyone was going like, Jay-Z, Jay-Z. And then they're like, oh, Kanye is the richest black guy in America. There was crickets, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I mean, what what's cool is that, you know, you know, when Frank was on, he joked about the dumplings being like the 10th version of that shoe or whatever. Mm-hmm. But Lawrence, it, it also goes back to you, I think, or, originally bringing up the idea that like are Yeezy sort of competing with the status. Actually, I don't know if it was you. I know we had the discussion What with Air Forces. Was that you, Luke? No, I said Air, uh, Air Jordan ones. Uh, Yeezys are like competing with Jordan ones. Like the reason why we have so many Jordan One releases is because of Easy Three Fifties or something like that. Am I am I misremembering? Because Lawrence, I think you were the one that was sort of like, yeah, it's kind of like taking over as a staple, sort of in the Air Force One area. Well, what I was saying was, what I was correct, I think, is for younger kids. Mm. Yes, this is their this is their Air Force One, the Air Jordan One. Even though Air Jordan Ones are still loved, a lot of kids want a Three Fifty because it's a status symbol. It's a, it's comfort. It's it's the thing that you know these kids love. Whereas maybe when I was their age, I wanted Air Force One, I wanted Jordan One. So it's fucking it's a cycle of life. Yeah, I don't mean to cut you off, but you know, as you know, I don't. I am for the listeners out there. You know, I just want to say I, I'm sorry. I, I'm not here for the whole podcast, but I do have some some family issues I need to take care of. Mm-hmm. Hug your parents, love your parents, make sure that they're good, and um. Also, the other thing I just want to say, guys, before I get out of here, is, you know, we got to, I don't know if you guys talked about it, but we got to stop the Asian hate because the shit is like hurting me, you know, to see all this mm-hmm. stuff. So, yeah, we talked about it up top. Appreciate the yeah. words, man. Appreciate you coming in, even though you're kind of in a situation. Um, you know, go back to you, uh, doing you, doing what you got to do, and uh, we'll catch up with you later. All right, bud. Yo, y'all the best, man. I'll talk to y'all soon. Later, bro. All right, my guy. All right, later. My guy. Lawrence Deloach, everybody. You can find his new podcast, I Hate My Job, on all listening platforms. All DSP. He just had Mike Cannon on last episode. It was very funny. Yeah, Mike's great. And so is Lawrence in that new podcast. Um, yes. he's, got, he's got a couple of good ones. I haven't listened to any, but the, the guests uh, are good. Are not us. <laughs> he's done talking to us, bro. He's had enough. He's had enough of talking to us. One day he'll have us on when we're all f- famous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all right, let's just go back to the six. I think I have a point, though. I don't like how people aren't showing him the love that he deserves. All That's right, here's, it, though. Here's my comparison. Now that okay. Lawrence is gone, I can do this comparison. Uh, Jay-Z picked Charmander. Right? <laughs> Kanye picked Pick Squirtle. Oh. A widely respected Pokemon by a lot of the community, but not more than Charmander. So and every decision from that point on has affected where their lives have gone. I mean, that's a okay. I'm not mad at that analogy. I don't know how I feel about him picking Bulbasaur. Well, he's got to pick the enemy. He can't pick the he can't pick water. Jay Z's the the guy that everybody loves. He's got to pick Charmander. Yeah, but the, but now grass is weak to fire. You're that's saying Jay's weak to Yay? No, no, no. Yay picked Bulbasaur. Oh, so Yay's weak to Jay. I mean, yes, in, in, and if we're looking around, I guess so. But I don't. Uh, there is an argument to say who's like got a better career. I think. All right, listen. If you want to get technical with it, technically, 
Bulbasaur is one of the more optimal choices when you're choosing your starter, but nobody appreciates it as an optimal choice. Right? Also, he's really fast for a grass Pokemon. Listen, he's one of the fastest grass Pokemon <laughs> in the game. We're losing so many. Don't listen. worry about it. They're Don't like, why are they it. just doing this? Don't worry about it. Hold on. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll, get, we'll come back around. We'll circle around. It takes real genius to circle back around from this. All right. <laughs> it does. So it's the most optimal choice is to pick Bulbasaur. Everybody knows that because you get the first gym, boom, rock, away, rock, water, gym, then water boom, out of the way. Electric, gym, electric, not effective against your fucking Venusaur. Get it out of my face. All right. No. And then then you got green on green action, grass on grass crime on the fourth gym. Yes, exactly. And you could, you know, you could pick up a Volpix or some shit along the way. You'll be fine. <laughs> you pick a, you pick Volpix out of all the <laughs> out of the fire Pokemon. Yeah. OK. And you'll okay. be fine. And then, you know, it goes from there. Um, and then All right. We got to get off. We're just going to go to Pokemon rabbit hole, dude. We got to get off this. And then eventually uh, you look around you after you've played video games for too long. You look up and boom, it's MX day. <laughs> now we're back in the podcast, baby. <laughs> what? So, all right. Update me on what's going on with Air Max day. Okay, so we 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 didn't really talk about it much, right? We had that uh the the generational shoe that we saw. We're yeah. really feeling it. We had the bacon's. Everyone you know, fucks with the bacon's. Everybody fucks with the the bacon's. Can you explain to me, uh, since it's just you and me here? Yeah, I, I feel like there's less judgment. Can you explain the thing with DQM and and the bacon, like why it's such like a big deal? Um. Well, all right. So there, there's a thing with Dave that Dave's of Dave's quality meats. Right. Um. So that was such a New York shoe. Yes. I learned about it after. So you got to remember what year was that? 2006. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is it? Was that what it was? I think it was 2006, 2007. Either way, I'm in Boston. OK, so so at, at the time that these sneakers were coming out, I'm getting residual uh, like information, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. this was at the time where, like, you still well, you had were like to... 17 at the time, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you were like, how how into like the design world were you at that point? Not much, right? Well, all right, so 17, no, I'm I'm in high school, so I'm just this, I'm a skater kid in uh, suburban Massachusetts, you Getting know, in trouble with his graffiti book, yeah, actually, yeah, kind of, I, yeah, that's yeah, that's when you know. Why are you acting like I don't I don't listen to you? <laughs> no, not, no, I'm just oh, trying yeah. to make sure I'm thinking about the timeline. It's not you. I'm just trying to think like what I was doing. So I only learned about that shoe. Not after. So, OK, here's here's what it was. It's 2010. I did an internship in in Brooklyn. So I spent a summer in Williamsburg, and that's when I found out about a lot of these shoes. OK, Um, but the thing around that shoe, I think also has to do with not only the store gimmick. I say gimmick loosely because it's a very good store concept. It's a very great concept store. But yeah, exactly. It's a it's still a gim gimmick technique. Yeah, yeah. It gets but you in the door to see Dave's it, Quality well Meats. Executed. Yeah. Yeah. So Dave's Quality Meats was a shop that looked like a butcher shop from the outside. Uh-huh. Um so the bacons of course was a slam dunk as far as the theme and the color was great so there's plenty of things about that. But a lot of people don't think I don't I don't know that they know is that so Dave of Dave's Quality Meats actually got pushed out of the business. Yeah. There and was, that's why they started calling it just DQM. Right. So at Dave's Quality Meat you would say there was Beef, you suck. I hate you. Oh my god, you're the worst podcaster that's ever podcasted. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Okay, this episode was worth it. <laughs> this episode's great. You stink though. I know I do. That's why it's, you got to have somebody on here that that makes those jokes. All right. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> Uh, so there was be there was no but there was beef there was like I, there wasn't there like a financial dispute at some point yeah and you know what i don't want to get too much into it right, um you can't you, you yeah you're just like I, not only was i not here i don't know those guys like i'm friends of friends with them you know what i mean like i think i've been in the same room with some of those guys a couple times but i'm not you know i don't want to be the guy just kind of spouting business like that but so i think a lot of the hype is also there because they brought dave to do the release back Oh, this Dave's working on this one. Yeah, Dave. Yeah, I didn't even hear about. That's it. not. Um, I thought Kevin Bacon was working on it. 
No. <laughs> you fell I, for a Photoshop. Yeah, somebody Photoshopped in our Discord. I see you, Alex. <laughs> um, I'm look, I, I don't want to. I'm pr- I'm pretty sure he was he, he's like helping promote it. OK, which to me means that he was like working on it at some level. You know, so I don't want to maybe I'm misspeaking. I'm not sure. But either way, that is a no. Well, also the time difference between when they're released and now, you know, what I mean, that's long enough to be like, oh, shit. Right. And even if you're a kid who doesn't know, like a lot of the DQM stuff or like even been to the store or whatever, like you could see the push that Nike's giving you. So you're just like, you know, probably complacent with the hype and going like, oh, these are tight, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I for one, think they're tight, but that's because the hype told me to. Yeah. <laughs> the hype told me to say it's hype. No, it's it's cool. It's a very cool sneaker. I used to I remember like being in Flight Club and like when like the 2010s and, you know, you look at a wall of Air Maxes and then you see the Bacon's. You know, yeah. like every time you look at that Air Max wall, the Bacons will always stand out. And I always thought yeah. that was cool. Um, but yes, I, I, I like those. We did. Did we talk about the clot uh, Air Max? We haven't. Right. No, because they stink. We're not into them because we're not into We don't like the you don't like the clear, clear shoe either. No, it's 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 you know what? All right. So conceptually, I'm more down with that than I am with other clear ones because there's a sort of a story around it but yeah clear in general like i'm cool i don't want to have to like i know you should be matching your sock you should like if when you think about outfits like the sock's important but i'm not trying to show anyone my sock that's true i don't want to show people my sock um let me see if i can pull it up we we were talking about like the history of the clear shoe is that like the who do you know who had the first one if my memory serves me right which usually it doesn't I believe uh, you're you're it's... you're zero and five hundred right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm zero and fifty like the uh, Virgil. <laughs> like the... Um, also, isn't it funny that he they're doing fifty after he had the fifty dollar donation thing? Oh my God, he's keeping it a Virgil with us. <laughs> he's keeping it two Virgils. Um, <clears throat> one just one Virgil. <laughs> one Virgil here, but two Virgils with us. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Um, yeah, so I think it was the Espo Air Force Twos. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then there's the Invisible Woman's. Right. Which have nothing to do with uh, Invisible Woman. Yeah. Right? They, they just called her that because her ship is clear. That's not actually why they made the, sh- no, the no, clear no. shoe. They, they made it because it's like it's the blue. It was like a light blue. And then it had like, no, it was Invisible Woman because it was invisible like the Invisible. Hold on. <laughs> invisible Woman. <laughs> It's, what are you talking about? It's because of the blue. It's the blue that makes it the invisible woman, I think. Because the sky is blue and her ship is. No, it's you're, you're thinking invisible. of Wonder Woman. You're thinking of Wonder Woman's invisible ship. Invisible, invisible yeah. woman from Fantastic Four. Oh, that's why it's blue. Oh, invisible woman, Wonder Woman. OK, yeah, invisible ship. <laughs> OK, all right. Sorry, I'm, I'm misogynist. Chris Cheney. Yeah, I'm back. I'm back um, and I'm, I'm with you guys now. Disrespecting women left and right. Uh, on Streetwear's uh, ultimate podcast. <laughs> Streetwear's unsung podcast. You also, uh, you got into a fight with your girlfriend about something this week. About ripples? What did I get in a fight with her about? You? Oh, oh, no, no. Okay. It's, yeah, it's funny. Uh, yeah. No, she, um, she was asking me about one of my pairs of shoes that I had, and she described it as uh, the, the shoe with the, the paint chipped off of it now as a listener hey checking back in with you listener how you doing have you listened this far good for you (laughs) what do you think uh, a chip paint effect on a shoe is because in my mind that's like a cement or an elephant print chris what did you say to her i went i don't know any shoes that have paint chipping on them you're a fool i don't know if i am because No, no, no. It's about verbiage. And I'm not saying that she's wrong in the way that she described it. I'm just saying when I think of the Jordan three or the or any cement, yeah. I think of elephants. Right now, we literally had to after we, we probably took about five minutes of us trying to like figure out where we were like playing mind meld with each other. <laughs> I was like, Jordan, she was like, uh, <laughs> like nail polish. And we had to like work our way <laughs> to <laughs> figuring out it was oh the threes. God. But when when we put them up side by side, I get it. But if if you're thinking about because, you know, I don't like my shoes to look old or chip and shit like that. I try to keep my shit pretty pristine. That's why I was like, yo, there's no fucking way any of my shoes have 
paint chipping. Yeah, the real the Boston in you came out, and you thought you were being attacked. I was. I really? thought I thought I, my my integrity was being tarnished. Mm -hmm. I thought that she was attacking and slandering my character. Right. I just wasn't having it. You, you know, were just you were just overreacting. Yeah. Now, earlier in the episode, you were talking about you, you took a sip of Spindrift, right? I did. I'm still doing it. But mm, crisp taste of Spindrift right there. Yep. <laughs> um, you also tried the cacti Travis Scott seltzer right yeah so all right so uh, you know i was also talking with my girlfriend about the seltzer uh -huh. and um so they have a store locator oh they do yeah and i think it, I, it's bullshit don't actually go there and thinking that any place that it says it's going to be there is because there was a deli literally like <clears throat> luke the deli like the closest deli to me it said yeah. it had it and i went in there and there was none right so i kind of gave up it was sort of like a like a half joke that's like oh let's go search for the tr the hype travis scott no, seltzer they backdoored it your bodega backdoored the cacti <laughs> i was joking i was like yo maybe they did resell the because it's not here and it's saying it's here but then last night i'm regular grocery shopping and i walk by the the seltzer section i just see a stack of them hell yeah i'm seeing headlines that they are sold out where no i don't yeah i i saw they're like you know people are joking like how much can you resell a can for whatever various headlines places doesn't have to be true or whatever but i go home I grab a grab a regular six pack. I, this is the only seltzer I get. So Travis Scott has one point. Spindrift has zero at the moment because I fucking GR'd the cacti seltzer. But I couldn't get the fucking hype supreme drop Spindrift. Your move, Spindrift. Yeah, your move, bitch. Your move. Right now, Travis Scott got you. Um, We're going to be hitting up cacti for some fucking sponsorship. No, they taste really good, guys. They do? Yeah, they're good. Which flavor did you get? There's a variety pack. There's a lime, there's a pineapple, and there's a strawberry. All right, and all of them are good. Like, oh, okay. Which one do you like the most? Um, I'm gonna have to say pineapple. I think. Ooh. I feel like I'm sort of infringing on um kombucha poppies uh you know area uh where we're reviewing uh bubbly drinks, but no, like that shit is good. And you know what? The seven percent. I'm here to party. All right. Yeah. Let's fucking yeah. get into this. Let's rip one down for Travis Scott. It seems like it was marketed towards you. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> it was. I have a. I have. I have many of seltzer taste, and it's good. <laughs> was that a sentence? I don't know what that was. I have many seltzer felt seltzer taste. Oh, I have many a seltzer taste, and it was good. <laughs> and it, it was a good one. Oh my god. Um, let me see. God, it, it, it is so wild to me. Some some of the um, areas of topics that we get to talk about based in streetwear. Yeah. <laughs> well, did you see uh, Evangelion? Seltzer. Evangelion's doing a collection with somebody right now. Evangelion is the most hoard out IP I've ever seen in my life. The licensing mm -hmm. on that, I just don't understand. Travis Scott Evangelion collection. Wait, are they really? No, if they imagine. Oh. That would be the two most hoard out brands. Yeah. How about you Photoshop it and post it and everyone think well, it's real? I'll do a I'll do a, a reverse dunk fucking a reverse swoosh dunk of the neon, the fucking evil one, that purple and green. Oh, there you go. There we go. Yeah, you, we, we got there. <laughs> we got there. It took a minute. I forgot how to I, I forgot anime for a second. I'm sorry, guys. This French episode's going crazy. We're all over is, we're going crazy. You, you know, no, no. The problem is that you're not secure in yourself right now. You got to believe this is a good episode. <laughs> you gotta believe. Just like you, we all believe in these NFTs, these non fungible tokens. So I yo. All right. So the NFT thing is I'm so enthralled. I am trying to learn every day about what this is, because to me, if we take this seriously as artists and force this to be the norm, I, it's going to change the way we sort of process art generally forever. NFT being non-fungible token, pretty much uh, being able to trade art via cryptocurrency, if I'm well, not mistaken. It's sort, it's sort of. It's it's art that has uh, that's on the blockchain that sort of has embedded uh, ownership to it. So... If I sell something on the blockchain to you, Luke, and then you want to go sell it to Lawrence, my information's still embedded in it, so I get a part of the profit. Oh, shit. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's fucking amazing. 
But the interesting thing to me is and I'm trying to figure out where it comes into the topics that I'm sort of into. So not only like design art, right? Vectors and that sort of thing. I'm sort of like, okay, where's the, how do we do this? Cause if I sell you a vector, right, right. on an NFT blockchain, you can change that in illustrator. Right. So it's, it's interesting. There's a lot of ethereal topics. I don't know. Like how do we listen to music podcasts, like some shit like that, like stand up, stand up clips, uh, albums, things like that because you also need a visual component to it if you're doing it correctly right so you, you do the album before you do the special but the special how does that look um also so you have things like line art then you have the actual sneaker the photo of the sneaker i there's just so many things going on um i'm trying to pay attention as much as i can and learn as much as i can um but nfts sort of at its base is really going to be interesting to watch how it plays out yeah yeah, uh, we saw Gucci's kind of doing something similar already with, uh, with with those shoes, right? Yeah, so they're sort of dabbling in. All right, so for the for the uh, listener, I think we kind of I might have just brought this to a whole other place because I I also don't exactly know what I'm talking about when it comes to NFTs, but that's why we're going here, baby. <laughs> so Gucci is doing uh, not an NFT thing, but they are going to start selling virtual sneakers through uh augment reality so you can try on shoes right or you know going back full circle sort of like what pokemon go is yeah see told you we're good at this <laughs> we're good at this yeah so i'm kind of bullshit at them though because you have to pay 12 dollars just to try the shoe on virtually fuck you just give it to us for free right right that i understand that that i understand why someone would be upset i am not surprised that it's happening of course Gucci, you, you already have all the money. I just, you, you know what I want to do? I want to walk into an establishment with no shoes on, and they'll be like, hey, you got to have shoes on to be in here. And, <laughs> just I'm like, them. <laughs> and I turn on my phone, and I'm like, I am wearing shoes. You just can't see them. <laughs> it's so dumb. And there was another uh, app, I think, that there wasn't the, the sneakers app doing that for a second. No, I feel the, like there was you're a thinking of goat, 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 oh, is, goat, goat. You could you could do it on goat. You have like and then our shoes. Yeah. Um, and then I think out of uh, at least the 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 scope of my algorithm, off white had that thing where you could try on the gla the glasses that he was having coming out on Instagram with the filter. Yes, that's correct. You could do that. <clears throat> I remember there was also a filter with quotation marks and you yeah. lost your shit about that. I was really mad about that. Um, Yeah, man. I mean, I'd be more surprised if like, I think what we're going to start seeing is like kind of these more virtual spaces, like, um, like that VR lobby, you know, that yeah. VR lobby. Game. So I'm not going to, I'm not going <clears> to <throat> be surprised if like these big sneaker companies try to invade these spaces by selling like, like if, if you could buy a virtual pair of like Travis Scott fours for five dollars and have your avatar wear them, you'd be like, maybe, you know. Well, yeah, it just it's sort of like <clears throat> that's where I like, think it's going as far as like like this, this <clears throat> AR Gucci thing. I think that's like the next step is like figuring out how to how to market this stuff into our video games, you know. Well, they, they've kind of already been doing it, right? So there's the Fortnite. Um, the kids wore, you could wear the Jordan 1s in Fortnite, right? Oh, you I mean, could? Yeah, they had that whole release. I, I, you might have been not on the podcast yet, but there was a whole thing. I was like kind of saying, I was trying to explain to Lawrence that if they keep doing these things where, I think it was the, the, the Spider-Man ones you could wear in Fortnite. Um, you might want to oh. Google that to make sure. I don't know. I think that's pretty much what it was. But I was trying to tell Lawrence, like, they can pick and choose which Jordan to put in there and drive hype. Um, you know, I like, you know, the hype machine thing. I was trying to tell him that he was going, fuck you. You're stupid. And I hate you. And I was like, that's fair. But um, that's, yeah, that's every week. Bro. Yeah, there it's sort of getting like oh, simified. Yeah. So you could wear the Spider-Man Jordans in Fortnite. No, those aren't Spider-Man Jordans. Those are mids. Bro, Get that off my screen, then. <laughs> Look at that. That's a mid, baby. I know my mids. <laughs> that is a mid, I that's guess. Mid. I don't know. That's that's a mid. We're changing the culture f through Fortnite. <laughs> um, but so, I like so there. There was there's that. There's the the, the goat thing. There was like all right. So going back to the NFTs too. Sorry, we're kind of hopping around here. But 
All right. So if that's the case, right, they're going to start selling things virtually because we've already had it in these instances, like even like my Xbox avatar, I can make it look like he's wearing Jordans. Uh, Your 2K in, avatar is like the first place. I think that's like the first place it's already happened. In, yeah. In Splatoon, you could buy Yeezy looking ones. In, oh, the, yeah. in the Sims, there were like even going farther as back. I think they were one of the first to sort of make it look like you could have a thing. You know what I mean? But now now it's like now these brands are starting to move into the video game space. Like, look at what happened <clears throat> with like Miles Morales in the Spider-Man game. They yep. took away his origin stories. They took away the Jordan ones and they gave him Adidas top tens. Right. Yeah. Because because Marvel has a contract with Adidas. Uh, Adidas right. But like that stuff like that, that's that's where we're seeing it move, kind of where we're yeah. going to be seeing these big brands start to invade kind of the digital space much more. Uh, it's just <clears throat> sorry. Um, it's just interesting because I don't there's going to be value towards it, of course. But like, all right. So if it if it is something like in this digital space, how much is it going to cost for my avatar to do whatever if, if that's the way it moves? Right. But also there's so many things about a sneaker that you can sort of separate and make it its own thing like so the design flats the one right the design flat like it, when you cut open the shoe you flatten all the panels out oh, right yeah, yeah, you yeah. have all those flats you oh, can buy I, that I call, I call that skin in a skinning a sneaker so if you skin a sneaker oh. right you are essentially like doing a loose architecture flat of the shoe okay you could put that up as an nft right Ooh. but my confusion is who owns that and what do they own and what? Yeah. So that's my main thing with this NFT shit where it's like, you know, I'm like, you could break apart everything and sell it separately. Sort of like how you like, uh, like you tear down a car, rip apart a car and sell its parts. Um, or is it something that like each sneaker now becomes its own? Do you understand what I'm saying? No. Yeah, I don't know either. I think. <clears throat> it's just very it's a very complicated system that's being developed as we go. It, we're just we're not big brain enough, guys. If you have any big brain thoughts that you want to share with us in the discord, jump jump in, guys. The, the link's going to be in the in the description of this. Someone video. posted the one of the NFTs that they're selling in our discord, and he's getting like good money for it right now. He's getting good money for it right now. We, we wish him the best with it. I'm not going to buy it because I can't afford it. How many faces are, like are confused? Like how many people are like, "What the fuck did he just talk about?" <laughs> I know you did a very poor job explaining it. All right, um, hey, I think we're good. Any last thoughts? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna be on um next week. I'm doing uh Bobby Kelly and uh Mike Calta's podcast. Just a quick plug. So be on the look for that. My <laughs> also. My uh, dad, my uh, <clears throat> my episode with Haas is going to be up soon eventually. But everyone's saying yours is the goat. Mine's the goat, baby. Listen to that shit. It's mad fun. Um, I think that's it. Oh, no, you want to talk about those Morgella? The loaf breads one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, there's not really much to talk about them. They look like bread, but I'm here for it, bro. So Margella made bread loafers, not black and red. Uh, I looked they up made, black and red. It's literally bread shoes. Um, so this is this is my thing with uh luxury brands or high end whatever. Like, are they laughing at us or are they laughing with uh, us? I mean, they they're laughing at us if we buy it. Are I they think, though? I think they're listen. I think they're laughing at each other. But. This is what I'm saying, though. Are they laughing at us or with us? Because these are flames, but also with us, with us, 100 percent. But also no one's wearing or buying those. People are buying those and they're going like, to have a good laugh about it for 113. Yeah. But that's th think about what I'm saying, though. Margiela sneakers at one hundred and thirteen dollars are not Margiela. Sne you understand what I'm saying? Like D Margiela would never sell shoes for $113. So that's why I'm kind of like, so are you laughing at us or with us? Because that's actually in a range where it's like someone would buy that. Yeah, they're they're laughing with us, man. They're giving it to a lower lower price. Just like, oh, you want to you want to get in on this action? Jump in. You want to jump in with my Zon, bro? And Tommy, who's this Tommy Cash character? That guy seems like somebody I want to hang out with. 
<laughs> Anybody who who makes this genius. Margella Brett. Also selling a pack of twelve dollar ramen as part of the collaboration. That's so much. So twelve dollars for ramen, that seems like Margella pricing. That's Margella pricing, baby. Not the shoe itself. Yeah, man. Damn. High end ramen though? Fuck. Everybody says, Oh yeah, you can you can eat this, huh? Yeah, that's no, that's for real, dog. I thought it was like an art piece. An art piece on ramen. It is, though. It's supposed to be, anyway. Oh, we also didn't talk about fucking LeBron owning part of the Red Sox now. Boo. Boo. That's just an interesting move in general. I I mean, yeah, he's preserving his cash flow, I guess. No, he's preserving the Red Sox. <laughs> um, I wish I could. I wish I had a LeBron accent. Because I could just try to do the Boston LeBron accent, but I'll have to work on that. You can't do either accent. I don't have a Boston accent, and I definitely cannot imitate LeBron, so. Can't do either. No. I mean, I look, if we start getting some Boston colorways, though, in some LeBrons. I, I'll. I, all right. I won't laugh. I promise. I'm fucking probably going to buy one. If I could get a B on a LeBron. <laughs> come on, dog. Some socks on some LeBrons, and socks. then you wear the red socks with the the fucking Boston Red Sox LeBrons. I hate you. I hate it. I hate it. Shut up. You guys just got Blake Griffin, so like, leave us alone. Who's this we? Who's this Dude, we? I'm in New, New York. York. I'm a New Yorker. Not, not I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm a New Yorker. All right. I'm from Queens. We support the Knicks. We're miserable. We like being miserable. You low key love the Nets. I don't. I've never watched a game of the Nets. Look, just because they started in Jersey doesn't mean you couldn't get back on. I, I didn't get on. Jay-Z went... circling back. Look at that full circle. Jay-Z brought that to you. He gave that to you because you needed it. I don't need it. You are, needed it. The Knicks are doing great right now. They are they? a better record than the Celtics. Shut up. <laughs> exactly. Do they have a better than the Nets? No. Nobody has a better record than the Nets. <laughs> How do you beat the Nets? They got fucking... Six all stars. Of course, they're they're the best. How do they have six? Who are the, who are the two? I'm not thinking of. You have KD. You have Harden. You have uh, Kyrie. Then you have Blake Griffin. Um, Spencer Dinwiddie. Who is that? He's still on the team. Hey, get him out of here. He's done. Is he? I don't is know. On the team. Well, yeah. Spencer Dinwiddie is a good player. All right. He's a. Good I'm not saying he's not, but he's not one of the guys I just said. Oh, he tore his ACL, according tore to me. his Meanie. ACL, according to Meanie. There he is. Yeah. There he is. I, I just wanted to check if he was awake. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't played this season, also according to Meanie. Okay. So, you know, boom. Fifth all-star right there. He's out. Okay, what else? Who, who's the sixth? Uh, who's their coach? Jason Kidd? He's not coaching them. Who's who's coaching them? Steve Nash. Steve Nash. Boom. All-star right there. See? Uh, proves that I don't watch the Nets. <laughs> Although Jason Kidd was a goat coach. Now we're just kind of rambling. I think we can get out of here. Do we, did we're, we make... done. we're done. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, all right. Just to dismount here, guys. Appreciate you. If you got all the way through this, <laughs> appreciate you. <laughs> it was a what? good episode. <laughs> was a good I'm episode. joking around. You fucking it was a good episode. Uh, <laughs> we're So we're working on new merch. I don't want you guys to think that um, that's not coming. Yeah, just because we were just going to rebrand and not put out new merch. What do you think we it's are? Go, it's going to be fire. It's Don't you worry about it. Flames. Yes. <laughs> Maybe I said too much. <laughs> oh. 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 Do they got a uh, with Travis coming out? Uh, well, either way, look, I'm not afraid to put anyone's logo on anything, so I'll fucking make that shit. <laughs> I'll fucking put Travis logos. I'll put every Travis logo collab logo on a T. We'll just do a, do a, a SUP FM spin on it. <laughs> Yeah, fucking, I'm going to do a spin drift fucking collab. <laughs> what, are, what are other things that we want and don't have? Kombucha. We'll do a Chad Muska fucking collab. Chad Muska. Chad, come on our podcast for 420. Chad, come on Sup FM. Word. All right. You can follow <laughs> us at Sup Podcast NYC on all social yep. media platforms. You can follow me at Trevizus, T-R-O-V-E-E-Z-U-S. You can find Lawrence at LZD325. He has a new podcast called I Hate My Job. Check that. I Hate This Job. Mm -hmm. Check it out on all uh, social media platforms as well. Chris, wait, where can they find you? 
You can find me at not that Cheney, C H E N E Y. And like Luke said, and like we said before, join the Discord. Um, if you need a link, it's going to be in the description of this. It's also going to be in the link tree on our Instagram, which also, if you go to our Instagram, there's a phone number, there's an email. You can email us, you can call us, leave us a message. And I believe that is it. We got, uh, we got a YouTube channel. Check out the YouTube channel. I keep putting up the video for you every week and you don't watch them. All right. You tell me every week you want, you want new videos. I give you new videos. You don't watch them. Watch the videos. You know, and, um, it, you know, there hasn't been any talks yet of uh, Sold Out Tuesday coming back, but the venue that we had it on has uh, had it in is a soft opening this weekend. Uh, I'm going to talk to the guy. I'm going to see. I don't know. I got to I got to put out some feelers, but I'm just saying if you guys want to see us do stand up. I, I mean, I only did one set last year. How many did you do uh, uh, after COVID two? during the pandemic? I only did one set of con- one stand up set times that's it you did too lawrence um you know fortunately was like got some hosting gigs at the stand and stuff so he's been around i'm sure he's still sharp but look it might be coming so just be aware of that and uh i guess that's it guys you know we'll talk to you next week and uh have a good week peace Bye. this has been another french guy episode it's me from the bordeaux region thanks for listening sup, 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 podcast fm, FM. sup fm sup